Good morning from Bill's Never Ending Projects. Uh, update on my garden. Uh, I think we planted it somewhere June, <clears throat> June 9th or so. It's Sunday, June 25th or something. I don't, it's quite a few days later and I've been, uh, we got a recorded rain last night because I looked and uh, I know I didn't want to buy a new gauge, so I silicone the bottom, but you can still see the water moving around. It'd be about a half inch. That's our first readable, readable rain. We had one that like wet the dust a couple times in two months, but you can't count that. It wasn't measurable. Uh, this is our first measurable one, so to keep it so to keep the garden so the seeds would sprout and stuff and the transplants would be alive uh i turned that hose on that goes the uh 50 or 75 or 100 feet or whatever it is up to the up to the garden area yeah we didn't we didn't use too many of the cages this year they're still sitting here uh usually those would all go we made about 20 or I explained this before, we made 20 or so each year for like 10 years and and uh, so we could keep expanding our broccoli and cauliflower and stuff like that, cabbage, peppers that the, uh, that the uh, bunnies eat and whatever, if it's just bunnies or what, I don't know, but uh, the, uh, we only really raised uh, tomatoes in our little four foot long greenhouse uh, a little four foot long greenhouse uh, and so that's accounts for all these tomatoes from one end to the other end I would say the gardens that's absolutely a hundred foot I'm sure it's maybe 125 or 150 but it's at least a hundred foot so uh let's see what we put in here uh one two three four five six six rows of tomatoes and we kind of doubled them up and put them even close together trying to get rid of the plants here at the end so this row could have 75 in it and so could this one so there's 150 right there and even if it's 60 and 60 it's 120 but I think it was more like there's quite a few in these rows and then these are spaced out where there's at least 35 in each row so if there was 35 and if there was 35 in this row over here that'd be 70 and if it's the same with these two it'd be 70 and 70 140 then these last two if they had 70 70 each uh 70 be 140 140 uh, 210 or uh, let's just say let's just say we might have put 200 tomato plants in and only a few died because I kept watering them I totally kept watering them but it worked nice with this uh, PTO rototiller on this farm I'll see uh, so next year I know what I got I thought it was a cultivator but there's a shaft that runs down back to the uh, to a chain uh, that goes up to the uh, PTO and it's mounted on the cultivator uh, arms, tool arms. But uh, here uh, I had the idea because we hardly planted any different varieties. I had the idea to. To put a row on the right side of each row of tomatoes so I wouldn't need stakes so I'd know each row of tomatoes 
of the six rows has a row of something, has a row of something on the right. And there you can see them. It's beans, they're up, they're up tall enough so that you could see them. I see my wife put a cage over a couple here in the end. Cause if, yep, because there's an eaten one right there. So she must have, they always eat the ends first. Then they go out and start eating the middle. But uh, this is probably the first time we've ever got a row to go all the way down where they come up and you can still see them without the eaves, leaves uh, being eaten off. I think it, I think this cat that I got is actually helping us. Uh, what else could I add? My one watermelon plant. And some of those peppers, I said she brought home a six pack or maybe it was even 12 of them. They finally, I finally could probably slow down on watering them. They, they've, they've not died and they're finally used to, uh, she threw in a couple actual squash, the easiest thing to plant by seed. It wants the birds don't eat them, which we had a lot of trouble with that over the years. Uh, we had to try putting screen over the top of them, but but don't hurt to buy a couple transplants. It's not like I think she bought four. Maybe we'll have something before the uh, the seeds. Here we decided if they eat all the beans, maybe they wouldn't eat these that are that are inside this inside this fence, but. Of course, there's two holes in it, so they'll just go right in through this, right in through this, so we'll fix it, maybe. Oh, there's the sun. Yeah, it's actually cloudy out. This is so rare. I kept watering. Here's my second watermelon she bought. It looks like it's got one dead leaf on it, but it's gonna, the other two are gonna live. Took a lot of watering through that drought for those 20 days. And she usually, like I say, the birds usually eat these zucchini and pumpkin seeds. I can't tell them apart, they look about the same. But they usually uh, eat these seeds and we get hardly nothing to come up. But with all this watering I was out here doing to, uh, to save the uh, to save the uh, tomatoes that we put in. It seems like all, because every day I was hitting these hills with water once and sometimes twice a day. They actually, I think every hill, I think every hill, oh, there's, a, there's an eaten bean right there, it's eaten off. Every hill has some squash type plants coming up. This one's got this label zucchini. So I guess we walked from the other end down to this end. These come up later because they're littler. Those are certainly different looking, but they could have just come up later. I don't know. She, uh, my wife put these in, so I'm not sure if, if she made all these zucchini, we'll have enough zucchini to give the whole city some. <laughs> so we'll definitely have tomatoes and zucchini. So I kept most of those alive. I guess she put enough here at this hill, but we're just amazed. Every hill seemed to have come up. Have I went to one? Have I went to one single hill where there wasn't any? So we got some at that one. That's one, two, three, four, five, so six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There's only one there. 18. I guess this is the last one. 19. Oh, 19 hills of some kind of squash type plant. <laughs> That's a lot, but usually only two or three of those grow, so who would have known? And that's too bad as I watch the animals eat these beans. Right now, the, the bean row is... Right now, the bean row is so you can actually see it right on down the row. And that's never happened before because they've always eaten them first. Uh... But most of the tomatoes are, I don't know why they're getting blossoms already. This is ridiculous. That's only, it's only 10 inches tall. Even the one next to that one's got a blossom. Here's one a foot tall that doesn't have a blossom. Uh, where we had a tomato die here and there, we threw a pepper in. So there's pepper. There's one, there's one. Kind of hard to miss because we threw a cage on them. Uh, here's another row of beans. So maybe the good thing with putting these rows of beans in, since we had so many tomatoes, and I didn't have to use stakes because I knew the right side would have, would be a row of something. And uh, so maybe with this many, even if they eat 75%, maybe there'll be some that they miss. That would be my thoughts on it. So maybe we'll... They just love beans around here, these animals. Raccoons, rabbits. Who knows uh, if the groundhogs eat them, but. And uh, there's my three biggest tomatoes. Hopefully they don't got blossoms on them yet. Oh yeah, this one does. But at least, I wish they were all looking like those because that one's over a foot high. This one's about a foot. But that's that's my update on the garden. Much, Not much else to say. I'm gonna con discontinue it here. Uh, went over 10 minutes already, so that's it.